This is a story about a man named Eddie Nolan, a man troubled with bills and debt collectors until one day, something strange happened. Damn! Every time I turn around, there's another bill. Seems like I can never catch a break. Why can't I just have a million dollars in my account? Okay. That's what you want? Man, who are you? Okay, just chill. How'd you get here? You got a key, you gonna start paying rent? What is it you desire most? I desire for you to get out of my house. I didn't invite you in here. I already know what you want. I just need to hear you say it to make it final. Oh, so it's just that easy? You gonna put a million dollars in my account? Check your bank account. So he checked, and sure enough, $20 million in his bank account. This man messed around and stumbled across a creepy genie. But it couldn't be that easy. Now go down to 3rd Street and call this number. Nah. If you don't do it, you'll regret it. So now he's faced with a choice. Do what he says, or ignore his orders. So Eddie chose the smart option and decided to go along with his orders. I mean, after all, he did just earn $20 million in his account. And this guy just appeared in his house and has this weird smoke about him, so he's pretty creepy. Are you the guy I'm supposed to meet? I don't know, maybe. Where the ladies at? Bro, I was told a guy was gonna meet me here with the ladies and I could have a threesome for the first time. I never been with two girls at one time before, bro. And you believe that shit? Hell yeah, I believe them. A dark figure disappears in my house? Of course. Well, I don't know, man. He told me to call this number, so maybe if I call him, the girls will show up. Oh! So Eddie freaked out like any normal person would. I mean, this guy just disintegrated. So he went back to talk to this dark figure. Oh, shit. I'll need one more favor. Man, hell no. You better listen, or else. It appears Eddie chose to let curiosity get the best of him. You better listen, or else. Or else what? Why would you challenge this guy? Or else you'll go to prison for murder. So what, they're just gonna believe I summoned a lightning bolt and disintegrated a dude? Is that what happened? Because that's not what the security camera footage shows. How, how are you doing that? All right, all right, look, look. I'll do whatever you want. Follow the GPS to the address and call that number when you get there. Oh, shoot! Yo, this is getting crazy. I'm gonna let y'all get back to the story. Oh, don't do that, dude, dude. Don't do that. I got something to tell you. Don't do that. What could she possibly have to tell him? What should Eddie do now? Should he listen to what she has to say first or just call the number and get it over? Well, it looks like Eddie's a nice guy. Or stupid. Because all he had to do was just call the number and then she's out of there. But no, he chose to listen to what she has to say and... Listen, hear me out, bro. He told me to kill you, but I'm not gonna do that. If you call that number, then... Lightning is gonna strike and then you're gonna explode and I just... I just did it to someone, bro. I'm not doing that. What did you wish for? What? You had to have wished for something. What did you wish for? Food, bro. I just wanted food. As much food as I wanted. Whenever I wanted. Food everywhere. But I didn't want to kill someone for it. I get it. The seven deadly sins. You're gluttony. The guy I just killed was lust and... I'm greed. That's only four out of seven sins, which means there's more people. Wait, Wait, don't don't up. All right, perfect. You're about to get your wish. Wow. I guess be careful what you wish for. Because what are you sacrificing with these deadly desires?